Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack for 2 inch hitches. Now this is going to be for RVs, travel trailers, and motorhomes. Part number Y02476. The Yakima Long Haul is specifically designed for RVs, motorhomes, or travel trailers. It's heavy duty, and because it has limited moving parts, it's going to be more stable here at the rear of your recreational vehicle. It's not just for RVs, you can use it on any vehicle with a 2 inch receiver. I've gone ahead and removed a few bikes so we can take a closer look. It secures our bikes with three points of contact. We've got two zip strips for our top tube and then one for our seat post tube. This one's going to be our anti-sway. It's going to help prevent swaying our bike when we're on the road as well as prevent bike to bike contact and bike to vehicle contact. Both our zip strips and our cradles have super cush padding. It's going to offer a nice ride for our bikes. When not in use, our dual arms fold down for more clearance here at the rear of our RV. Simply press in on the lever, guide it down until it snaps into place. The whole thing is made out of a sturdy steel construction with a chip resistant silver powder coated finish. It's fully welded here at the bottom and since it's powder coated, it's going to resist rust and corrosion. The included anti-rattle bolt is going to help reduce all the play and all the rattle between our receiver and our bike rack. The lock is also included and it uses the same key system as our cable lock up top. That cable lock is just integrated here at the back and two keys are included. It has a weight capacity of 37 and a half pounds per bike and it features a limited lifetime warranty. Now that we've gone over some features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. First thing we'll do is load our shank in and line up our pinholes. Now this is going to be done the same way whether you're installing it on an RV or a vehicle. Once we've got our pinholes aligned, we'll take our included anti-rattle bolt. We're going to thread that through on the passenger side. Once we get it hand tightened, we can grab a wrench and tighten it down the rest of the way. Now the size is just going to be 15 sixteenths. Get that nice and secure. I'll take my lock and put it on the other side and lock it up. Then I'll just put on my dust cap and we're all set. In preparation for loading of our bikes, we'll need to raise up the dual arms. To do that, we've got a gray lever up top. Just swing it up until it snaps in. Now let's remove our zip strips. To do that, squeeze in on the two tabs and they come on out. Now it's going to be way easier to load your bike up if you fold the anti-sway cradle up out of the way. So that's just what we'll do. Now it's recommended that you load up the heaviest bike first. We'll grab our mountain bike and we'll just work our way on towards the front. Now we want to make sure that our seat post tube is nice and snug up against our anti-sway cradle. Then we'll just go ahead and replace our zip strips. Then we can just do our top two zip strips. And we'll repeat the process with our remaining bikes. Some bikes, such as women's, children's, and bikes with alternative frame styles, may need a bike adapter bar to sit evenly on the cradles. Yakima makes one. It's called the Yakima Tube Top, and that's part number Y02531. With all of our bikes loaded up, Yakima has provided us with two straps. If we were just carrying one bike with us, the smaller strap holds our front wheel in place and prevents it from spinning. Since we've got all the bikes loaded up, we're going to use our larger strap, and we'll show you how to run that. We'll start by putting it through our wheels and working our way towards the back. Then we want to be sure to go around our mast and then we'll just go back out through our wheels. Then we'll just connect it to our buckle and pull it tight. This is going to prevent our wheels from spinning and prevent our bikes from swaying at high speeds. Last thing we'll do is run our cable lock. It's integrated within the mast, so we'll just pull it all the way out. Then we'll go over the top of our bikes and then just snap it in. With all of our bikes loaded up and secure, let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Here at our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is going to show side to side action, such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our solid speed bumps. This is going to show an up and down action, such as pulling in and out of a garage or a parking lot. And then finally onto our alternating speed bumps, this is going to show a twisting action such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. 
And that's gonna complete our look at the Yakima Long Haul Hanging Style 4 Bike Rack for 2-inch hitches. Part number Y02476. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.